My nigga Chris Lopez fucking this dumbass. Hold on. Shit, that's the wrong one. Oh. So my nigga Chris Lopez, he fucking He asked me, uh <laughs> He asked me, big booty or bigger booty? Um, I don't think... It's a difference between butt... It's diff- okay, it's a difference between ass, butt, and booty. Like... You know what I'm talking about. It, it's second nature. It'll come to you. But... I don't see my like big, 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 big ass. Like... I like some like my girl, like my girl, like my girl Candace Zombie guy. She got a nice ass. Like she got that, she got that thing sitting up there, bro. She got that, it's all nice and you know. Something like that, bro. Not too much. I cause I mean, no, oh, that's too much, bro. If it's like to the point where your ass is like halfway hanging out your pants, like your crack is like 50% exposed. Like, dog, nah, I'm not, this shit don't ride with me, dog. Uh-uh. I'm not finna have this shit. Good thing I don't. But that ain't my type. That ain't my fucking. That's not my prerogative, I guess. I'm not with that shit, so. Your ass like ground beef. You better take this shit on somewhere else, cause you ain't finna. Nah. Nah. Nah, this shit, dog. What? But yeah, um, this shit right here, boy, I swear. But yeah, bro, uh, yeah, so I just, I prefer a big booty. I can't do that bigger booty, like, I want to be able to have something I can grab, not something I got to fucking put in a damn chokehold. Oh shit, my nigga Rick, my nigga Ricky. Hold on. God damn. It... Oh, oh, I thought I broke my lighter, bro. Uh, my nigga Rick. Hold on, which Rick is? My nigga Ricky Brick. My nigga Ricky Brick. My nigga Ricky Brick. He asked me, what is the meaning of life? <clears throat> Shit, my, my theory is like, I don't know. If you can't, if you can't live life, if you can't live life like how you want to, then, I mean, what's the point of living life? Shit. There ain't no point in living life, bro. Like, you don't, God didn't put you on this earth to live somebody else's life. Because they got life, they got to soul they damn self. I didn't make no damn, you know. I don't know. There's some people out there that don't believe in that. I mean, I don't knock y'all shit. You know, I believe it's a supreme being. It's a high power. Shit. I'm just not religious like that. Because religious, that shit, it got so many. I don't know. It just got so many drawbacks and fucking contradictions. And you got to fucking do this and do that. Like, to me, God live right here. Like, if he, if he don't live right here, then, you know. It's whatever. That's why I'm talking about go to church. Like, should no church have to fucking goddamn? Should nobody have to even like give money to the church? I don't even know why pastors even gotta go to school to teach a book that's supposed to be taught to the people. Period. Like, that's the book you're supposed to pick up and read on your own and get your own understanding from. And you shouldn't have to go to school to get paid to preach a book that was supposedly put on this earth for individuals like you, me, and you know, children can read. To get an understanding how to better their life. You shouldn't, it shouldn't even, that's why I don't like go to church. I don't want to go to church, though. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And then why I tell people that, a lot of people somehow frown upon me because I don't go to church. I don't give a damn. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I'm just not cut out for church. I don't been to church because I'm from the South. I'm from Alabama. I'm born in Talladega County. I'm from Alabama, dog. 
And I that's all in the south, that's all they all that's all they got is Baptist church. They got Methodist churches here and there. They got other little, you know, fucking damn religious establishments for you can practice your teachings, whatever you roll by. I mean, this shit ain't just ain't cut out for me though. Cause for one, like I said, money flow shouldn't even have to be an issue in there. Because the path from what from what I grew up, my mama, she, I mean, she go to church too, but me and her got the same understanding. A pastor should have a second job for he could provide the church house for the people on that Sunday morning. So when they, whichever day you worship, whatever you worship, it should already be set out. You shouldn't have to give no money because oh, the fucking light bulb in the bathroom broke, and I just spent my check that I got from my job that y'all don't need to know about. The fucking replace a light bulb, like. You shouldn't have no money flow, period, like, right, in the church. You can devote your time. Can't then fucking erase time. Whatever you do with your life, time, time, if time is relevant to everybody's life, period, to everything, period. From the time you clock in to the time you fucking hit the grave and clock out, like, you should, your time should be good enough. It's like a relationship. Why should, I mean, okay, yeah, money flow in, they gotta buy your girl something, you gotta buy your nigga something, you Valentine's Day, you gotta buy some fucking panties, chocolate, dildos, whatever the fuck, KY gel, whatever you wanna buy. Like, <laughs> like, I mean, time is the most precious thing that it should be fucking, that's what should matter. That's what should matter. The time should matter. Cause you can't, shit, hold on. Cause you can't fucking, I'm just, okay, fucking, I'm gonna get to the, the time, just time period, time. Time it takes time to do a lot of shit. You can pay just like a test. You gotta take time to study to fully know what you're taking the test for. You can pay niggas to take the test for you and pass it, but then they ain't gonna learn shit from it. So it's just all about the me living life is just you know about time and living life how you want to live life. You know what I'm saying? So and we all born sinners. It's all about fucking living life and dying a bo- uh, dying a winner. That's all it is. We born sinners, but we die winners. In most cases, with some folks. Damn, I'm out of court this shit. This shit I'll be patent and trademark. Like, man, yo, shit. Because I'm living my life. I've been through a lot of shit. A lot of shit that don't really, like, push me to the point where I don't even want to be here no more sometimes. But that's the time I sit back and think, like, this motherfucker's locked up on life term, on a life sentence. I'd rather be here than to be in the fucking state pen serving life. Or I'd rather be here than dead. Sometimes I'd be like, shit. I wonder what death is like. Because if it's anything better than this, then I might want to experience. But you know what? Sometimes I just sit back and think. I might smoke me some. I might drink me some. I'm like, you know what? What the fuck was I thinking? Let me just chill out. Because it's niggas out here who got it worse than me. It's niggas, especially in Atlanta. If you go downtown, nothing motherfucker walking barefoot. Don't got no food. Ass hanging out. Jeans ripped up. Shirt halfway on. Got a roof over my head shit. Right, I'm watching Scooby Doo. I'm chilling. I'm smoking. I'm drinking. I'm conversing with my niggas on Facebook. I'm making music. I'm just living life. So the key, the, what my my um question was, I forgot the question. So what I think of life is live it how you want to. Like I said, ain't no part of living life if you can't. Straight up, dog. Real talk, dog. It raining hard as hell out here in Georgia, man. Tree moving. Hope this damn tree don't follow us in on this apartment, because if it do, I'm through. Straight up. But yeah, man, keep the question rolling. I hope I don't got to do no part three, man. I don't feel like doing this shit all night. I ain't too much doing shit anyway, but shit. You watch the Scooby Doo. Mm-hmm. I'm getting fat, bro. Just kind of tracking out these footies, though. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to keep them booty questions rolling. This shit amuse me. I feel like I'm the booty guy. Y'all come to me with any booty fucking difficulties, though. Fucking booty oriented problem. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to touch on one more thing. It's crazy how media... I'm not talking about like CNN and all this shit. I'm talking about like how 
TV shows and video games, it's like influence, 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 influence music a lot. Cause I'm sitting here watching uh, uh, Scooby Doo with all you, the old one. I don't too much fuck with the new school uh, bullshit cartoon they got. And it's in the back of my mind, cause I remember having, uh, I don't know if y'all caught, what was it? I think it was, I think it was, I think it was Quasimodo, the Unseen album, or it was his, it was his tape he had on. Um, the Adventures of Lord Quas, I think it was it. And he sampled this. And I'm just like, man, this shit crazy, man. This shit is crazy how he did it. He did influence me a lot, bro. A lot. Everybody doing, man, this shit. Today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday, man. Almost Friday. Everybody doing, man. I know I should have did that in the first video, but shit. Mm -hmm. True. I got a question for y'all. Because y'all niggas don't want to. Motherfucker barely asked me a question. How do y'all think about music? Like, I want to know how people feel when they listen to my music. I want to do they feel how I feel after I listen to this shit, like if it's some laid back shit. Do y'all feel laid back? Do y'all fucking get crunk? Do y'all like what? Like, I want to know. Shit. Because sometimes when I be making some buck shit, like, man, when I did fucking um, ignorant shit with goddamn, with AOZ, man, that's my favorite track off of damn Mr. South 2. That and leaving everybody on. That's my two, man, that's my two favorite tracks off of that shit. Like, that's my two favorite tracks off of that shit. That and leaving everybody on. That's my two, man, ignorant shit, that is my shit, bro. Ignorant shit, that is my shit, bro. I be getting buck as hell, dog. Like, man. Man. But, yeah, dog, shit. I might have to wrap this shit up. I hope I do a part two, man. Y'all niggas don't want to ask a nigga shit. I ain't going to bite. I'm just chilling, dog. Don't ask me something. I ain't going to come through the computer like the girls and choke snap and shit. I ain't going to do no shit like that. Like, damn, man. Give me a break, shawty. Man, fuck. Shit crazy, dog. I'm finna touch on something else. YouTube, fuck your ass. Like, y'all be putting ads on... Y'all be putting ads on my shit. I know y'all getting paid for it. Why y'all but fuck? I want to get paid for the ad shit, too. I didn't ask y'all to put no ad on my shit. I hate that fucking ad. This shit fucking run my blood pressure up every time I click on a goddamn video, man. Fucking crazy. Shit crazy, bro. Man, fuck your ass, nigga. Shit. I ain't seen no fried chicken ads on my shit. I ain't seen... I don't, if it ain't no fried chicken ad, nigga. If it ain't no damn big booty ad, nigga. I don't want to see that shit. Nigga flipping... I know y'all see that ad all the time. The nigga flipping pieces out. Oh, man, I don't want to see that shit. If the piece ain't going to come through the keyboard out right, the fucking disk drive, don't show me the shit. Because I ain't finna buy the shit. Damn, don't fucking... Man, YouTube, man. Y'all fucking up, man. This Man... Fuck this shit. Fuck y'all, man. Other than that, y'all don't got... Hold on. I might got another question. Hold up. Oh, shit. Fuck, I got my head. I don't got no more questions. I might do a part three. Shit. Fuck. I don't Yeah, I might do a part three, man. Fuck it. Whatever. Yeah, like I said, man. Shout out to everybody. Too many niggas to name off. I'll be here counting all damn day. Good shit. I get peace out, though, shit. Peace out. I'm finna ride out. I really ain't finna go nowhere. I'm just finna sit and watch the movie again. But shit. No question come up, part. 